Hi, I'm excited to tell you about our paper, Analyst Information About Peer Firms During the IPO Quiet Period. My name is Andy Call, and this paper is co-authored with Badria Al-Husseini and Kimball Chapman, and we are all on the faculty at Arizona State University's W.P. Carey School of Business. The SEC limits sell-side analyst research activities on IPO firms both before and immediately after going public in a period known as the IPO quiet period. These restrictions are intended to level the playing field between institutional and retail investors. However, although analysts are prohibited from providing information directly about the IPO firm during the quiet period, their coverage of the IPO firm's peers can continue unrestricted during this period. In our study, we examine whether investors uncover information about the IPO firm indirectly through analyst coverage of peer firms. And we test whether this coverage provides institutional investors with an information advantage over retail investors. We find that on the IPO date, institutional investors trade on the information in stock recommendation revisions analysts issued for peer firms during the quiet period. In contrast, retail investors are not attentive to the information available in analyst research of peer firms, even though our tests show that analyst research of peer firms is associated with IPO firm performance. Our study is important because it documents another way in which retail investors are at a disadvantage relative to institutional investors, even in the context of IPOs, where the SEC has made efforts to minimize these disadvantages. Our findings also suggest that while analysts are generally limited in what they can say about IPO firms during the quiet period, they continue to play an informational role during this important period when investor demand for information is so high.